Once upon a time, in the ancient land of Etheris, a kingdom nestled between towering mountains and deep mystical forests, there was a legendary warrior named Arendor. His name was whispered through the winds and sung by the bards, for Arendor was not only a master of the sword but was also chosen by the celestial beings to protect the realm from untold evils. Arendor was an orphan, left at the door of the Sacred Order when he was just an infant. As he grew it became clear that he was no ordinary child. He had an unusual birthmark in the shape of a phoenix, glowing faintly on his wrist. The elders knew this was a sign from the ancient prophecy, a chosen one who would unite the lands and rise against the darkness that was foretold to return. The day came when the prophecy began to unfold. Deep within the mountains a great and terrible sorcerer, Kaeldrin the Cursed, broke free from his eternal prison. His dark magic spread like a plague, twisting the land and summoning terrifying creatures from the shadows. Villages burned, crops withered and despair gripped the hearts of all. Deep within the mountains a great and terrible sorcerer, Kaeldrin the Cursed, broke free from his eternal prison. His dark magic spread like a plague, twisting the land and summoning terrifying creatures from the shadows. Villages burned, crops withered, and despair gripped the hearts of all. Arendor, now a young man and a respected warrior in the kingdom, knew his destiny was upon him. Guided by an ancient spirit he ventured to the Hall of Echoes, a sacred temple said to hold the Blade of Eternus, the only weapon capable of defeating Kaeldrin. The journey was perilous. Along the way, Arendor encountered fierce adversaries, the Gloomfang Wolves, ancient stone guardians, and the elusive Shade Assassins, who served the Dark Sorcerer. But Arendor was not alone. Along his path he met a band of unlikely allies, Lyria, a fierce archer from the forest clans, who had sworn vengeance against Kaeldrin for the destruction of her home, Thalin, a mischievous rogue with a heart of gold, whose cunning and agility saved them more than once, and Eldrick, a wise old mage who possessed knowledge of the ancient magic long thought lost. Together, they braved the darkest corners of the realm, overcoming challenges not just with strength but with unity and trust. When they finally reached the Hall of Echoes, Arendor faced his final test. To claim the Blade of Eternus, he had to confront his greatest fear, his past. In a vision, he saw the truth of his origins. Kaeldrin was once a guardian like himself, but he had fallen to darkness out of a lust for power. Arendor was his descendant, the only one who could either break the curse or succumb to the same fate. With this knowledge, Arendor claimed the blade, and with it, the responsibility to save Aetherus. The final battle was fierce, Kaeldrin unleashed all his power, warping reality around them, but Arendor, with the support of his friends and the power of the Blade of Eternus, stood firm. In the end it was not just strength but his ability to resist the temptation of the same dark power that had consumed Kaeldrin that allowed him to prevail. As Kaeldrin fell his dark magic dissipated and the land began to heal, the forests grew green again, the rivers flowed freely and the people rejoiced. Arendor had fulfilled the prophecy not only defeating the darkness but proving that true power lay in compassion, unity and wisdom. Arendor became a legend, his name etched in the stars. And though he retired from the life of a warrior, his story lived on, told by generations to come, as the one who united the realm and brought peace to Aetherus once more.